We'll use the capsule to generate three figures as a background. Then we'll cut out screenshots from that background and use them as inputs to generate a 3D mesh. Then we'll improve the texture using Stable Diffusion to generate a final mesh like this. To begin, let's jump into the Mesh tab, open the Mesh Capsule, change the aspect ratio to something wider, so 10024 by 768, increase the number of cameras to 3, sorting them around and moving them into positions. Specifying that I want to have character sheet in the positive prompt, four images, and then super important, we want the shape recognition to only last for 10%. The remaining 90%, Stable Diffusion should not care about the capsules. I'm gonna start Stable Diffusion server and generating the background. We can see it in the Art BG tab. So we've got four of them because I requested four. And I'm gonna pick this one, the most consistent. Then switching into the 3D mode, I'd like to remove the surroundings just in case to make it easier for the generator. Starting the generator server, and now once this window is running, I'm gonna take several screenshots. Notice that they appear on the left panel. We'll use them as inputs. I'm gonna mirror the left side into the right one as well. So we have four images in total. Improving the settings to have higher quality and waiting for the generation to create the mesh. We have three cameras, so let's reduce it down to just one camera. Here is the mesh. Shift W to enable the wireframe. Let's delete all the backgrounds because we don't need them. Check out the UVs. Middle mouse button to pan around. Stable diffusion mode for texturing. Let's reduce the screen resolution to just 512 by 512 to make it square and better suited for the realistic vision and neural network. Increase the number of cameras to three. Let's just position them around, changing the resolution to be wider to fit them together. So 1024 horizontally for all four figures and 768 vertically. Background, let's make it grayish without any kind of gradient, so just flat gray. Total object mode to cover the whole silhouette of the figure. And before we generate the art, let's not forget to re-enable the shape recognition to be applied all the way, from 0 to 100%, to avoid any bugs. And generate the art this time. So this will generate the texture for the mesh. In the art tab, not in the VG, but in the art, we have four different variants to pick from. Jumping into the blend cameras, reducing the resolution to a square aspect. You can see that I'm doing some blending. Uh, this is described in the main tutorial, but right now let's focus on the in-painting feature. So I've zoomed up on her with my single camera, and I'm going to do the total object mode again. Some settings to offset slightly from the edges of the character to avoid stretches that happen around the borders. We've zoomed up on her. It's going to be a close-up render. So you can see improvement on the face, but there is lots of gloss happening around her. First of all, I've pressed R, and I can see where the texture is in red. I'm going to use the far slider inside the icon to give the projection even more blending around the edges. And in the projection mask mode, I can adjust the visibility of this projection by brushing using the positive and the negative brush. And I'm changing between them by pressing X. Pressing Alt, I've sampled the color on her breast, and I'm going to tap a couple of times to specify the rough color, because I'm trying to remove this gloss, and I'm going to color in paint it in the moment. Adjusting the prompt to make sure that it's up to date, and with a reduced slider of 56%, you can see it above the Gen Art button. Pressing the Gen Art. Let's pick this image because it has less glow. Far slider to adjust the blending around the edges. And to hide this white seam, I could erase its projection, but instead I'm just going to paint on top of it, similar to how I did for the breast a moment ago. So I've laid out basic colors, and now in this color mode, I'm going to generate the art with a 56% redo. This image looks best, but now we need to do on the other side, and hopefully it's going to be similar. I'm going to position the figure on the right, jump into the art BG, and create a background from view, which is going to make like a snapshot background from what we currently have. And now we can position our model on the left, and then safely lay the general colors on the other side, and perform the in-paint. The benefit here is when we reconsider those colors by 56%, even though we're in painting around that specific region, Stable Diffusion will consider the entire image around it. So having that background allows Stable Diffusion to peek at what we expect from it. So you can see the result looks quite similar to what's on the right. 
And we can also take care of the hands. This time I'm going to remove the background because I don't need it. We're just going to use the gray color on the left because this time I don't want to add any additional colors like I did for the breast. We'll just reconsider the already existing stuff. So no color, 56% redo, generating, and you can see the arms have been reconsidered slightly. There is some change happening on the thigh, and if needed, you can erase it in the projection mask mode. But I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's also do stuff for her ear and for her side. Shift E to erase the previously painted mask. We can only paint while we're in the single camera mode, but now after we've painted, we can increase the cameras to two, using middle mouse button to pan around, but you can see there is a limit, the numbers have to stay on the screen, so to push it down even further, I'm using the right mouse button to kind of look around, which helps me to push the figures even lower. Pressing Q to hide it, which allows me to see the before and after. As the result, we've got the cyborg girl, so you can use plain shapes like capsules to generate the backgrounds, cut out the snapshots from them, and then improve the textures of the generated mesh on the fly.